The following video is dedicated to people who tolerate me on a daily basis. They're the real heroes. Thank you, Kimberly, and your furry son, Freddy. Everybody loves animal crackers. Hey, guys. All right, I'm just gonna throw them over, okay? Here, I'll just throw them over. I gotta throw them out. Hi, Shirley Bird. Hi, sweet baby, here. Oh, yes, Shirley. Ringo, let Shirley eat some. Ouch, Ringo, you, ah! Hey folks, uh, Lester uh, and Ellie here, and we're coming to you with our October edition of Gifts and Goodies. Mm -hmm. Is it October edition or will it just be November edition? Uh, it will, so it's the be first of November, yeah, so but we've gathered everything through the month of October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So November edition? I, I don't know. What did you call it last month? I don't remember. I <laughs> don't remember. Exactly. So either way, this is the... This we, is probably October because all the stuff that we get is from October, like you said. That, like that, that makes sense. So yeah. folks, we are very blessed this month. We have uh, received a porch full, as you can see, of uh, things that folks have donated and gifted us. And, uh, well, I say us, mostly for the animals. There sometimes comes things for us that we really appreciate, but never ask for. Uh, it's been a stressful month, okay? There's been a lot going on in the world, and uh, with the COVID, and with the elections, and with everything else. And we were really shocked as things just kept accumulating here on the porch. And I told, um, well, it, you know, we it's like hard to sit there and see, and we know that you folks are going through so much stuff yourself, yet you still find that blessing and giving and uh, our animals and babies are living their best life and it's all because of folks like you so thank mm -hmm. you so very much so ellie and i are going to uh, go through and open some gifts and goodies and we hope you guys enjoy this and we are so certainly blessed if i don't say it enough i should say it more often because really we just it's just we are so humbled to be the recipients of of your generosity and your love mm -hmm. we really are yeah i agree absolutely and without further ado, let's get right to it. Let's get to it. You're not being. I'm being real careful here, Linda. I'm not bending it. It's very well wrapped up. <laughs> oh, Jamie would have loved this one right here. What? Horse, natural horsemanship. Oh. It's a guide for y'all to have been able to ride horses better, I guess. Boy, I tell you what. Looky here. So Linda has sent some really neat stuff. And Linda, I guess you have been very observant and noticed that all of our house is done in the, uh, I don't know what the, what the girls call that, but the like farm style. All the decorations are farm style. And these over here are going to go look really, really, really nice. And thank you so very much, Linda. This book, not to, not to change the subject, but this book has like techniques and stuff. It's pretty cool. It has like different techniques for different things that you do. So it could actually come in so handy. So you mean that we have another resource? Another Rick in book form. This I time. wasn't going to say his name because <laughs> you saw how the reaction that got last time. The coolest beagle, oh, beagle mama ever. <laughs> Does that say who it's from? Uh, I don't think so. Folks are not putting names on their stuff. And here's another one that has no name. Folks, look at this. It's a chicken, chicken waterer, indoor, outdoor. Now, I don't know exactly, but I believe that you fill this with water. And I have never seen this, so I'm just guessing. And this over here, this little toggle thing in the jiggy, I'm guessing if you push it, water comes out. Stay clean design. That's important. You've been watching our videos, obviously. And this is neat. I cannot wait to try this out and see how it works out for the chickens and, uh, and if anything to keep our water clean. I swear, that's, that is an ongoing battle. I think y'all have seen some of those videos. So Robin sends us gifts. Ellie, I swear this should be the Christmas edition because we're getting so many toys. I mean, this is for the whole family, it says. Actual games and stuff. Thank you, All Robin. All right, here we got something for voodoo. Hey, Lester and family. Stop putting that human sunscreen on voodoo right now. Okay, okay, okay. We got a whole supply of animal sunscreen that's made for horses along with some other gifts and goodies from this kinetic vet along with some product information and look some of their their clothing line look isn't that beautiful look at this with her cats and everything pebbles. <laughs> my little pebbles pretty in pink 
This is more of that stuff that um, I haven't opened it to look at, but it's been framed. And uh, it's that little bitty do -do 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 pixelated stuff that y'all, the you ladies know how to use. I was saying, what is this? Hey, this is the November, October edition, and we're getting Christmassy stuff. I was gonna say, this right here looks like fall themed, but this right here is definitely like Christmas looking well, to me. Well, I will tell you right now, so. it's from a woman. And I can tell you why, because women are all excited about the Christmas and the fall seasons and stuff. And that's cool, we have nothing against that. But uh, have you noticed when you go into Walmart or anywhere else, you have Halloween aisle, which is October-ish, and all of a sudden you have Christmas, and already Christmas stuff all over the place. And who's on those, who's on those aisles? You don't see men shopping in those aisles. The females. You see women shopping in those aisles, which is really sweet and funny. And that probably sounds like I'm calling out women. And I'm not, folks. I think it's beautiful. Now, this letter from the lady who sent the uh, Pebbles picture says, I hope you can read my writing. And I'm not going to read the entire thing right over here, but I do want to read a, a piece of it. Dear Morrow family, just want to say that your family makes our day here. Nebraska? Isn't that crazy, Ellie? We love all your babies, but we have a we have a favorite, and I'm sure we can tell who their favorite must be. And I will also say, low key, she's also one of my favorites. I have four or five that uh, I am really drawn to. And uh, while Ellie's looking for the next gift to open, I will say this real fast about chemistry and uh, animals you know chemistry and the bonds and stuff that you develop i was making a ferret video recently and uh, with our with our baby ferrets and i can't help but realize as i'm editing that i have a whole lot of footage of some more so than others and then when i start watching the videos here that we make for the farm some of you guys are fast to call me out and you say lester you never make videos of ernie and lester you never make videos and and then I start thinking about it, and they're, 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 it's, it's true. Some animals, and I guess just, you know, my personal favorites, and I don't know why they become my personal favorites, but they're just, they draw attention, and they draw me to them. And whenever I'm out, I'm out videoing and filming and stuff, I love all the babies. I hope that you can see that. I love them all, folks. But it's true. Sometimes certain animals just draw your attention in more than others. And I don't know if that's a bad thing to have favorites, is it? Uh, At least just going over there. Yeah, just, uh, did you hear what I, what I was saying? I heard the last part about favorites. I, I just don't know if it's okay to have favorites. This lady here admitted that her and her husband have their favorite. And that's fine, I because I do too. But I don't want the animals to know I do. It's like as a teacher, I don't want my students to know that I really like third period because this certain group is in there. These certain kids are on my bus run. I really like these kids and those in the back, ooh, you know, or coaching, you know, certain athletes that really stand out. I don't know. How do you the, feel? The way that I've said it in my videos is that I don't have a favorite, but there's certain ones that stand out. That's kind of like the weird, the best middle ground I can find. I, uh, that's very true. And, uh. It makes us sad, though, to think that what if our kids, what if Ellie's not teacher's favorite? Have you ever been in a classroom where it was obvious there was a teacher's favorite, a teacher's pet? Yeah. You have? Probably pretty much every class, every <laughs> teacher has a few of those. The ones that they call in a little bit more, the ones that they um, the ones that they talk to a little more. The same way that, like, we love all the animals, but I spend more time with Cornholio than I do with Peggy, like, you know? like uh, You know, like... I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to stop doing that, folks. Ellie... And uh, they, you have drawn my attention to something that I've been doing wrong for a long time. Thank you so very much. And it's such a blessing and to know that people all the way in Nebraska have, you know, found a place uh, and joined this family. And I really, really love that. What do you got there, Ellie? I got something really cool. Uh, this is from Chris Bowles, Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama. And Sam, just a little Italian chocolate, which is pretty cool. But this right here is the one that really stands out to me. Check this out. Dad, look at this one. It's a knit. It's a neck hat. <laughs> it's like a necklace that holds a camera. <laughs> that is ridiculous, Ellie. I like this one. This Ellie, one's awesome. I dare you. Well, number one, you can't have these candies because it says there's real liquor inside. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. But I am allowed to have one. At my age, I think I'm entitled. Don't, don't do it, Dad. Don't do it. No, seriously, don't do it. Even the geese are saying don't do it. Thank you. 
Mmm, tastes good. And it says they're really from Italy. Now, the thing is, why the shh on there? I'm not sure about that. Unless there's something illegal about importing things from Italy right now. I wonder. What did I just eat? <laughs> it was delicious, whatever it was. Someone, okay. someone sent a soccer ball. Just a soccer ball. Huh. Well, Maybe that with no name. name. Oh, no, no, there is a name. Oh. It says Judy Myers Palm Desert Cali. So I guarantee you then this is either for one of the kids or to put out with the animals because they all do. Believe it, there's some really playful animals out there. Dear Lester, Jamie, and the boys. This is from Doy Wasson. She got one for Lester, <laughs> which is unique to me, obviously. She got one for Jamie. We got here for L.E., Look at this. She watches too many videos. We Oh, she even has one for Xander. That's Jamie's son. And of course, we got one for Lex. This lady, folks, this doy, she loves doing crafts. And she has done some really neat stockings here for Christmas. Thank you so much, doy. Trudy. Kimberly says, I like pig butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Kimberly says it, not me. Okay. Trudy does not find that humorous at all. And that says, she says, thank you. All right, guys. So right here, we got some waterfowl feed. I know that the ducks are going to love this. And this is pretty cool right here. Pellets float for over one hour. That'll make it to where I can throw it in the water and the other animals like the goats and whatnot won't be able to get it. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Nothing went out in the water. Throw it for the geese. <laughs> oh no, Huck, that was the meanest thing ever. Adam or Steve knows. There they go. An old goat lives here with his chick. Really, folks? Really? <laughs> folks, we cannot thank you enough for the mealworms. We got five bags, and it was enough to fill our barrel up. And as you know, the ducks, the geese, cornholio, the chickens, they love these things. I'll actually go out and feed a few right now. Well, as you can see, they love those worms. Look at them. That's strange. It's like a footprint. Huh. And it's an entire farm, a little entire barnyard full of animals. And they're not our animals per se. They're uh, just a whole mix of animals. But it's beautiful, and I really do wish there were a name, but there's not. It's just uh, a lot of times whenever I'm making a video and I say I want to thank the person, thank the folks, thank you guys for, it's because there's not a particular name to thank. So here, Ellie, I'm seeing some animal brushes, and once again, there's no name. Um, but uh, this is really neat. I'm going to open this up. Look at that, folks. Wait, and then there's this little thingamajiggy. I don't know what that does. I, was, I don't know if this is some kind of a self-cleaning kit, but that actually would feel really good. Do me a favor. Will you scratch my back with that for a minute? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ellie, you want to make a couple of dollars? Yeah. <laughs> how much would, how much? Try, try. Oh, you're going to love this. Mm. Oh, that is pretty nice. Hold on. Like how about that? <laughs> oh. oh, it combs really good, actually. Turn around. Look at this. Oh, no. I'm afraid that this, well, I know for a fact this was not sent for, for Ellie to be used, <laughs> uh, for Ellie use. It's not going to do much for me, but, uh, oh, my gosh. Ellie, look at this thing. Guys, I'm glad there's two. I'm glad you sent two because one of them may just stay in the house, okay? I'm going to be honest. I wish there were a name. Oh, Wait, that's a thermometer. Yeah, it's a, this is oh, a... no. 
infrared thermometer. No. No. It takes batteries. I'm we kidding. got batteries, though. Why well, you want to test our see how yeah, it's working? Yeah, I want to see what my temp was. All right, so while you find some batteries for that, I'm going to continue to open gifts and goodies. All right. Don't leave me alone too long. Oh, I'll be back. I'm, uh, everyone knows that I'm always a nervous wreck during gifts and goodies. And I shouldn't be. You know, you would think that when you've been doing this for a couple of years, making videos and stuff, that over time you would get more comfortable, you know, and confident in yourself. But uh, I have always been that way. I've just never really been uh, much for doing stuff uh, in, in groups. And knowing that so many folks are going to see this, it's just, it's just kind of overwhelming. Um, as a teacher, I can do dances and backflips and nothing embarrasses me in front of my students. But on that couple of times a year, when your door opens and your boss walks in, she has her Chromebook and she's there to observe you teaching. All of a sudden, everything changes. The kids know it. The whole mood, the entire atmosphere of your classroom, your whole dynamic changes. Kids set up straight in their chairs like no one's evaluating that. Teachers, you know, stand up tall and straight and suck their gut in and make sure they're not sitting down. And when they're presenting, even if they're on using the, the big screen, we stand up to work. We don't want to sit down to work. And no one's evaluating that. But it's just a different, you feel differently with certain folks. Okay, Ellie has found batteries, I think. So we want to thank <laughs> the person who gifted us with these really neat tunnels. Hi, baby, you like that? We got a couple of these things. Thank you so very much. The ferrets love them. And we can put these things anywhere in the house and give them a place to play, sleep, hang out, and just do what ferrets do. <laughs> Which is a lot of play. And a lot of sleep. <laughs> so we got several bags of these. Uh, these apple nugget treats over the week over the last couple of weeks actually and all of our babies love them uh even <laughs> i almost got a finger in there i wasn't paying attention i better look at what, <laughs> look what i'm doing i put my hand up there wrong and uh, i felt my finger go inside bucky's mouth luckily he didn't bite down he was he's smart so folks if you don't know this when you feed animals you always have your palms open. So animals have, you know, they're smart enough to eat off the palm of your hand. And so what I did was I had a handful and I reached up looking at the camera. And at that point he bit here and it almost got me. Folks, this rope halter that we were gifted is going to be beautiful on this boy. I'm going to try to one-handedly put this thing on him. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it one-handedly. Give me a second to get me a tripod. So Kelly Snow, all the way from Georgia, she sends some stuff for, for Jamie. Um, and it's, uh, well, it's a lot of girl stuff. I will say that. And I say that because the first thing I pull out says makeup remover. It's like some kind of wipes for makeup remover. So I'll just uh, set that over here. Ellie's already begun to open this one here. I feel like I cut him off. But uh, we have a chicken, chicken encyclopedia along with some cute little alpacas or llamas ornaments that go on a Christmas tree. I swear, you girls get in the Christmas spirit so, so early. Uh, Lester, Ellie, and Jamie. And I'm going to open this thing up here. It's another letter. And I will not read the whole letter. You know, sometimes folks don't want you to read their stuff. They, 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 no, they want you to read it. They don't want to share it with everybody else, though. And so I'll try to be real careful. I have actually read entire letters and at the end, it'll say, please don't read this on the video. So I'm doing a lot of editing when that happens. Dear Jamie, Lester, and L.E., before you say something about taking care of my family, they have been taken care of. <laughs> I love this. L.E., 36. You're freezing cold, son. That's Celsius. Put, put it on Fahrenheit. Uh. Folks, we use Fahrenheit here in the States. I don't even know Celsius. I know Celsius zero is freezing. Celsius 100 is boiling. So I don't even know what normal is in celsius ellie's gonna figure it out while he's figuring that out though let me talk about this just for a second let me read what she said again lester before you say anything about 
taking care of my family. They've been taken care of. Here's what she's referring to. I know the sun is at an angle where it's hard to see all that we have behind us. But my biggest worry in all of the sanctuary is that you folks are going to think that we need, that we need things, and you're going to take from your own family to give to ours. And, and we are the last place that would ever ask you to do that. I understand that there are some nonprofits that operate and they, they, they need that. But remember, Jamie and I both work. And we have always promised ourselves to never bite off more than we can chew. You know what I mean by that figure of speech. Uh, for you Europeans, I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> I'm joking, folks. I'm kidding. Uh, so we never bite off more than we can chew meaning we're not going to take on more animals than we can afford to feed. We're not going to take on more responsibilities financially than we can afford. There are some months that are harder than others. Coming, mean, duh, the, when animals are sick and they require a lot of vet care. When it's wintertime and we don't have the grass and we're, we resort to feeding a lot more grains and have to feed a lot more hay. When we had the tropical storm come by last year and it ruined, it flooded and ruined all of my hay. We had to come up and buy more last minute. Uh, and buying hay last minute's not smart. And so we were forced to do that along with a lot of other folks. And the hay prices shot up. So what I say is, folks, always take care of your own families first before trying to pay your blessings forward to us. Because we'll be, we'll be okay. Um, and so that's what she says starting off. And so I, 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 I used to always say that. And I felt like it got on people's nerves. So I stopped saying it, but I just use this moment because she brought it up to remind you to always take care of your families first, your family first. And, uh, and we also know that a lot of folks, they get a blessing from giving. They, they do. Some folks get a real blessing, you know, from giving to others. And we don't want to deny you that blessing. So we will always accept things but uh, it would, it's going to be with a, with a heavy heart if, you, if we feel like you're struggling, yet you're trying to help us. And the last thing I'm going to say uh, while he's doing that is... I'm good. 97... So what is Is it 96.8? 98.6. 98 okay, go ahead and do me. Now, I've been wearing a hat. Ninety six point five. Is that right? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, both of us, uh, both of us are cold-blooded. Well, we're not feverish, which is the good thing. Yeah. Because that's what you got to worry about. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'll redress this letter uh, a little bit later. Uh, Chrissy, thank you so very much. And uh, I can tell you're a feathered person, uh, much like... Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. You got some competition here, big boy. Looky here, Ringo. You got some competition. <laughs> Rico, seriously? I was kidding. Look. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe he's scared of that little stuffed animal we received. That is too funny. Uh-oh. This is really awesome. Uh, <laughs> this is really neat. A kind lady saw the video from a while back when Pig Trudy was getting my water bottles out of the barn. Um, so <laughs> she got me a real cooler, one that I could put my water bottles in while I'm working and where Pig Trudy cannot get into. That's very kind and very thoughtful. Uh, really sweet of you. Halfway Thank home. you. Oh my goodness. Here comes more Christmas stuff. I swear you, I guess I should have opened all of these and save them for the Christmas gift and goodie uh, edition. Look, this is like stuff for your trees, uh, your Christmas trees or for your decorating in your home. And there's a wreath and it's like, uh, oh, I gotta pull it out and show you. Now, I, I hope there is somewhere on here some kind of name. Folks, look at that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is homemade because it looks like it's real pine cone and real everything with a little bit of a Christmassy glaze. I don't know the proper way to describe that, but I'll tell you what I don't see is an envelope with a name or anything. 
So, unless I'm just missing it, I'll go get the package better later. While you're opening that, I want to know who is your nocturnal friend, Cab in Alabama, Chris. Uh, I think she means her because she knows I stay up really late. Well, yeah. Uh, folks, if you don't know this about my son already. Now, I love this guy with all of my heart. You know, he's my, not only my son, he's also my best friend. Um... <laughs> What, that's funny to you? No. Why did you make that noise? I'm just, uh, I'm I love this guy. He's sweet. I just smile. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, our sleeping patterns can never be more different. With most things in life, we see eye to eye. But I don't know why he would not go to bed at what I consider a decent hour. <laughs> Even on work days, I can stay up till 11. It's hard, but I can. But my natural clock by 9, 13 o'clock, I'm yawning. I'm ready to start unwinding going to bed. No, he's just getting started. And uh, all through the night, he walked through the house and I hear him playing with the ferrets and I hear him walking outside and I hear the four-wheeler start up and I don't know what he's doing. If I wake up to check on him, I hear him in his room talking on the phone or the internet, whatever, and I just... Anyway, when my alarm goes off to wake up, he's just going to bed. And I don't get that, but this person over here does. And so, that's funny to me. I've been trying to do better as far as that goes. I'm trying to... You can't have enough of these. Okay, you can. Do not send any more. We already have two or three. Um, but uh, these are uh, sprayers. And so what we've been doing, what we started doing towards the end of last year, is actually filling that up with the, with the pesticide, the one that was made for animals. And we can stand at a distance and kind of spray Tex. And I bet you somebody saw the video where Tex had all the flies on them and felt bad for him. And that's weird, you know, because Tex is the only animal out there that has that many flies. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the testosterone, maybe the smell that he, his, you know, his, he excretes. And um, and so flies are just drawn to him. You dropping everything, Ellie? Yeah, I'm trying to open the chicken harness. A chicken harness. It, now we just had a chicken to put it on and see how that, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is just crazy. Now, what? I'm trying to, Cornholio. Yes. Oh, that this will is, be for Cornholio. Is Folks, this, it says is chicken, big, is this big enough but for we're him? going to we work price. on the straps. Oh yes, there's a lot of room for growth. Okay. We're going to work on the straps and make this for Cornholio. Gonna That's look, going to be he's awesome. He's going to look like that, right? So there. the note from Debbie and Tom talk about South City Lumber and how uh, this is a San Francisco company and uh, they've been in business for so long. And she talks about how she enjoys the videos. She starts her day, her morning every day with her coffee and her I'm a Survivor video. And we thank you, uh, ma'am, you and your husband for loving us and starting your day with us. And these buckets that what you sent always come in handy. Thank you so very much. And good job for that company. It's, it's not easy, folks, to stay in business, especially with this coronavirus going around. A lot of small businesses, you know, have shut down and will never come back. And so it's always neat to see folks who who are not national brands, you know, it's not your typical Walmart or Sam's or, you know, your your large chains, your Kroger's. It's neat to see small companies like this and still growing strong and even despite COVID. So this is awesome. Thank you, ma'am. We want to thank this person for a beautiful flag. I'm trying to erase it with one hand so I can video with the other. Uh, this is hard. Uh, you know, we don't hang flags in the barn anymore like we were doing because wasp guys wasp were building their nest behind them and uh this is so hard i am trying to so here's what i'm doing i'm trying to raise the flag with one hand so i can video with the other and i'm <laughs> i'm making quite the mess of everything listen that's beautiful and i just can't say where it's from it the flag doesn't say uh t-u-e-b-o-r to bore is that a Folks, I am sorry to play dumb, but I don't know if that's a, uh, a Latin word and that's someone's state flag, if that's a country around the world, and I am going to look it up right now and figure out what's what, but it's beautiful, and I am one-handedly raising it up onto our flagpole here in the front yard, and you've never seen a flag that has taken so long to be raised as what ours just did, but there it goes, flying proudly in the front yard of I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. All right, so I just looked up the flag and that is, I think, the Michigan flag. And the Latin words to bore, which is written on the flag, actually means I will defend. 
which is just beautiful. Especially in this day and age, folks. That that holds lots of meaning to us. Uh, nah, I'll leave it at that. I saw this in a store and instantly thought of you. It's a mini you. It chews funny and it spits. Oh, no. Oh! I'm just kidding. Hey, it's laughing. I got you. <laughs> Thanks for all that you do in keeping everyone in line and safe. And that's true. I don't know if everyone... Uh, knows that, so I bet you find you fill it with water. I bet there's a water place, and that's what spits on you. There's a little, there's a, there's a little hole in the tongue. Yeah, so there's for sure somewhere where water, water goes. Read here, dear Lester and Jamie, I'm a recent follower and have been catching up with all of your videos. Oh, I love that, folks. I hope that you know that if you are a recent follower and you catch the videos every day, you can always go back and watch the older videos if you go to our Facebook page or our YouTube page. We have all of our videos on there. You just type in in that little search bar on Facebook, I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, or on YouTube, I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, and when you find our page, all our videos are lined up right there. You can select to see the most popular to the least popular, or the most recent to the oldest, however you want to search them. Um, the one of the videos that, I, that really impressed me was the one during a storm where Lester was frantically looking for Pig Trudy. God, I remember that day. That was horrible. Oh, she was so little back then, folks. I hope I'm spelling her name. Yeah, you spelled it right, correctly. I know the feeling and have experienced that type of desperation. Yeah, that was a really scary day, folks. That was very scary. You know, I'll tell you real quick. That day was very similar to the to the uh, the, the way I felt whenever Maggie laid on top of one of her puppies accidentally and suffocated it. So if you don't know that video, um, I'd come inside the house, and Maggie had had a had a um, her babies there, and I knew she had ten babies. So when I I always come in and just look around and love on the babies a little bit, and I when I looked down, I only counted nine, and so I'm naturally saying, "Wait, where's the other puppies at?" And at that point, I had Maggie her her nesting box was a little kitty pool, real small little kitty pool, and so I didn't think the puppies were old enough to climb over the edge. And so I'm looking around, Maggie's lying there nursing these babies, and nine babies are sitting there feeding on her, and, or the ones that were asleep were, and I'm like, we're missing a baby. And so, dumb me, I start looking around the house, not realizing, or one, you know, thinking about what might be going on, and it wasn't until I finally got smartened up and I went and lifted up Maggie by the leg and saw that she was on top of one of her babies, and that baby was, was, was not breathing. Um, so I went into panic mode and it was a very, very scary moment, but, uh, I was able to resusc resuscitate that baby. And the minute that it began to breathe again, you don't know just the, the overwhelming release of the, just the, oh, uh, anyway, it was, it was the scariest and most exciting day of my life. Well, you know, there's all been lots of exciting days and scary days, but that was one where you felt the extreme from one extreme at one moment to another extreme next. Anyway, the day that we lost Pig Trudy in the storm was, was I wouldn't say equally, but it was up there as far as those, those moments. Uh, one thing I did notice is that you guys did not care if you got soaking wet to the point uh, to find Pig Trudy. However, I care for you guys too. You're the caregivers and must take care of yourselves. Here are two ponchos to protect you from the rain and backpacks in case you need them. Uh, this is very nice. It's from Lucy. And uh, I don't know where Lucy uh, writes from. I like to find where people live. It just really is neat to see that. But it's true. She gave us a couple of backpacks and, um, and a couple of ponchos. So if we ever have to get out in the rain again, and we do on occasion, now we're going to stay nice and dry. Thank you so much, Lucy. That's really sweet of you. And it's welcome to the page. Lester, Jamie, Ellie, and Ringo. I really enjoy keeping up with you guys. I thought you might could use this camera. I bought it last year and have never even used it. I have never used it. I think you could put it to good use. Hope to see some action videos in the future. Keep up the good work. Julie Taylor, Albany, Georgia. Cool. Dad, look at this one. What is it? It's an action cam. We got to put this one to use for sure right here. She said that she bought it and she never used it. Well, that's very kind of you. Yeah. So that's kind of like a GoPro. And we actually used to have a GoPro. And if you don't know this story, I got it for Christmas, uh, I think maybe two years ago. It was a gift from Jamie. And she knew that I videoed a lot of stuff. And 
I uh, put it on Ringo. I wanted I wanted to get a Ringo perspective. Today we're going to try out my new Christmas gift, this GoPro camera. So what we're doing here is we're going to figure out what kind of things Ringo sees from his perspective. Oh my God! Stop it! Ringo! Wait! Ringo! My camera! Ringo! Stop! And so I took that GoPro and I put it on Ringo's horns and I wanted to see what he experienced throughout the day. And first thing Ringo does, well, you know what? I'll just play the video for y'all to watch. Lisa has been watching our videos and I think that she must know that uh, I've been doing a lot of spreading seed lately. So I planted all of that pasture there by the pond with rye grass recently. That's our winter grass here. And uh, to cover up all that dirt and help stop the erosion, I filled that whole thing with 200 pounds, folks. 200 pounds of rye grass. And so it was a chore. And if you notice, we had a little push spreader that we had a heck of a time with. The animals, and it was just chaotic. But uh, this over here is a handheld. It holds about a pound of seed. So it's gonna be for small areas, but there's your little push button. And this is just really, really awesome. So thank you so very much. Here's your little dial to let you decide how much seed you wanna put out. And, um, and it's, listen, and it's powered. So you don't gotta sit there and the way I normally do. You just press a little button and it's powered. We'll throw out seed. So this is very kind, Lisa. Thank you for loving us and thank you for <laughs> having a good eye and watching our struggles with some of our older and <laughs> used equipment around here. Gifted all of this, um, this is dewormer. Uh, it's a horse and donkey dewormer. And most folks know, uh, we've talked about this before, that we do this four times a year at the change of every season. You have to deworm everything. So this is going to come in very handy. It's just enough to cover our donkeys. And uh, we appreciate you guys for that. We also have a lot of animal crackers for treats. And, uh, and uh, as always, folks, you don't know what a blessing this is. I hate that you guys uh, do this because I know how much this, this stuff costs. And, uh, but all of our babies just love it. I know it's uh, made for goats, but we feed it to everything. And all of our cows, horses, donkeys, pigs, they just love this stuff. And it is the only thing that we can find that's a one size fits all. It's the only feed that everybody eats. I mean, everybody, everybody, except the dogs. Folks, we got a lot, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of these really neat solar lights that I'm gonna put around the pond area. And as you can see, they just stick in the ground and they will light up. We already have a few of these that was donated a while back, but these are really neat. So thank you so much for this. Oh, okay. Well, if I'm gonna have to read, read, and this over here is a read, read. It says it's from the <sighs> Sorry, George, folks. What does that say? Georgia Police Canine Foundation. Oh, that's cool. So I know I look dorky in glasses. A lot of folks. <laughs> really, Ellie? A lot of folks have a really cool look in glasses. And I've just never got used to mine. I've uh so I kind of get embarrassed wearing them because I look dorky. And I've tried different rims and I've tried thins and I've tried different colors. And ultimately I realize now that it's just I it is who I it is. And so just um okay. We started our journey in late 2016 as the Georgia Canine Retirement Foundation. Our mission was to provide medical assistance to retired law enforcement canines. Guys, this is very admirable. This is awesome. Chances are that everyone's life has been impacted by canine in some manner throughout their life and they don't even know it. Before attending sporting events, concerts, or large functions, explosive detection canines sweep the areas to ensure a safer environment for those in attendance. That's true. Mm -hmm. Canines are important in communities by locating, detecting illegal narcotics or engaging in the most dangerous situations while dealing with the most violent offenders. That is very true. Uh, we ask these four-legged heroes to engage in situations most people would not do. And that's, that's, that's so true. I also know they're used by the military and uh, canines are amazing. Yes. And folks, if you have time to look them up, it's the Georgia Police Canine Foundation. They got you a hoodie too. Oh no, they did. Justice. There's a bunch in here. There's a bunch of like shirts and stuff. The Georgia Police Canine Foundation. 
Well, you know what, folks? Let's I am going to put that on right now. Thank you so very much. Yeah, thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Turn around to the back. Jaws of Justice. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, folks. I appreciate that, Kyle. All right, we're almost there. We got five packages to go, Ellie. We can do it. Okay. This bird feed that uh, we were gifted, and I'm going to try it out on the ducks and the geese, and maybe even take Trudy. Come on, babies. Here, Trudy. Will you eat that? So Trudy likes them. Trudy, give Ernie a bite. Trudy, let Ernie have a little bit. Come here, move your head out of there. Move, baby. Let Ernie, let Ernie have a bite, baby. So I'm seeing all kinds of nuts and things. There's a piece of pretzels, sunflower seeds. There's a peanut. There's an actual peanut. This is awesome. The ducks are not going. <laughs> They're saying, we'll wait till the geese come back. Real easy. Folks, we got some scoops. Uh, we can always use scoops around here for all of our feed troughs. Uh, simple food scoops. There's no name. We got some horse treats. And we've actually got a lot of horse treats. I'm going to tie in a small little video with all of our horse treats later. We got a Jolly Ball sports cover, which we hope will keep our sports balls from getting popped by you know who. <laughs> what do you got there, Ellie? It says, hi y'all, I hope these bucket handle cushions make barn chores more comfortable. Thank you for all the laughs. Hug all the babies, sending love from Ohio, Erica Jones. I'm what gonna, are they? It says like, I don't, I don't know exactly. It said bucket handle cushions. Oh, oh I know exactly okay, what okay, these yeah. are. Duh, yeah. I don't have a bucket to show you, but folks, you know that when you have a bucket yeah. and you, it has a metal uh, handle, and sometimes when that bucket's filled with feed or concrete or whatever you're using that bucket for, and you pick up that handle, it can actually hurt your hands pretty badly. Yeah. So once in a while, uh, someone sent us a while back these buckets that had these little soft handles on them. And this has just made a world of difference. Jamie will not use anything but those. But now, look at this. Without having to buy a whole new bucket that's probably very expensive, you slip the handle over the metal part. So when you pick it up, you have a handle to hold on to, a soft little handle. And that, that will make terrible. our life a whole lot easier. Thank you very much. Erica Jones. That's awesome. I need to read a little bit of this letter. Uh, the lady who sent the horse treats in the Jolly Ball cover, she writes, Lester and Jamie, just a short note to tell you how proud I am of you two. I found your channel when I have been stuck at home from the pandemic. Little did I know I would still be home. Yep, but I still have so much time that I started browsing Facebook and the YouTube. I found your channel and I have now watched all of your videos. Now, wait a minute, folks. All of the videos? We've had a sanctuary for over two years. We have put up a video every day for over two years. That means this lady has watched at least 600 videos. Is that possible? YouTube, I've had my YouTube channel way back before I even started the sanctuary. So you have all the old stuff. If you ever want to see L.E. as a little munchkin, as a little kid, if you want to see L.E. during his football or his basketball days, if you want to see Lester as a coach, as a teacher, uh, and things that I've done before you got to know me as the farmer, Lester, uh, YouTube's the place to this go. This is from Cindy Zimmerman in Illinois. And that is, uh, uh, that was Jamie's home state. We got two of these folks. These two really big food containers yeah. over here. Yeah. For cat food or dog food. Read, yeah. Read this one. This one's really special. Oh, okay. Uh, it's really special. Yeah. One, two, three four five pages special may need a tissue for this one no 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 no. i will a tissue ellie when it when ellie says you need a tissue we got to be careful uh so first of all i'm looking at a picture of a lovely lady and a handsome guy right there and uh, let me start reading hi lester and jamie I've been meaning to write you guys a letter for a long time, but I know how busy you guys are, and I didn't want to bother you with a long letter to read. Never, ever, ever think that. Yeah, we're busy. Working, farm life, the driving the bus. You know, Jamie does what she does, taking care of the kids, and maintaining your property. Yeah, yeah we're very, very busy. But you don't know what a release 
from all the stress and pressure as this kind of stuff provides us. Um, embarrassing to admit, but Jamie and I are both bath people. Ellie's a shower person. So in, the reason I bring that up is what do you do when you're in the bath? Everyone has different things they do. Most of y'all probably use your phones and whatnot. Guys, I read, do this kind of stuff. I read, I'm a reader and Jamie's a reader. And so if we don't have a book that we're reading, then we read letters We and we save everything. Jamie is as bad as a high school girl who saves all of those little love letters. And uh, do y'all, boys do that too, the guys? Do y'all even write letters anymore? No. The kids, they don't write letters anymore. No. But no, we save everything and we have a tote tray full of letters. Anyway, please never think that we're too busy to read a letter. I love this. Anywho, I messaged you guys a while back, but I wanted to tell you my story a little more in depth. I have been following you for about a year and a half now. I found your videos at a very dark time in my life. Hmm. I can already feel it for some reason. My husband Brent and my dad had both passed away within four weeks of each other. They were my best friends. My dad. So, uh, what we get here in the letter, we can go on to see all these amazing pictures of their kids and just the life, the life, the dad along with his the husband and the father. And it's just really, really, really neat. And uh, the last page is full of pictures. So, I just want to say that, Kelly, we are... Um, um, we're blessed to be able to be there during your darkest, your rock bottom, as we often refer to. Uh, you've been able to find the page and kind of temporarily escape from some of the things that pain you and hurt you. And in that, we're blessed. And we're blessed to be able to provide that. And so, um, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. I often struggle with trying to find words to, because you've all you've already heard the the typical, oh I'm so sorry for your loss, but I know that's the polite thing to say, but it's deeper than that, Kelly, and I don't know those words, and I don't know if anyone really knows what to say. You've lost your dad and your husband, who were your best friends, so you know that's 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 really really hard, so. I don't know what to say. I mean, help me, son. Yeah, I think mean, my, I mean, my dad is right. It is hard to find the words to say, but I guess all we can really say is that we love you. We love all of you, and we're here for you, no matter what. And I guess just think about like whenever you see people like on the streets or just in general, you never know like what they're going through or how they're feeling like inside. That's true. Like, and we said this so many times on the page that you know the the I hate to say it so many times it becomes cliche, but rock bottom. And it does come in so many forms. And uh, with cancer, with people who are sick, very sick, people who've lost loved ones, um, the folks that are going through some kind of ongoing abuse, you know, the ones who are neglected and the ones who are in poverty. And there's just the list, folks, goes on and on of all the struggles that, we're, that people deal with in life. And when you look at it and you see the things people are fighting about with the politics and the just the, all the social issues that people are finding a reason to argue and fight, you sometimes are reminded. It, it reminds you of count your blessings and stop being so self-centered and entitled to think that the whole world's going to stop because someone doesn't agree with your viewpoint on this political issue or on this, because there's bigger things. There's a whole lot bigger things out there. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I, there's bigger yeah. things. I think that uh, in the world we live in, it's easy to be sidetracked and to think that some things are bigger than what they actually are. But in the whole scheme of things, folks, there's a lot of people that are at a rock bottom in their life right now who would love to be in your situation and be able to find other less important things to argue and fight about. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. Yeah. I just feel like that anything nice that like somebody's done for like me or for my dad or for any of you guys, that sort of like chain of kindness was started by somebody that you may, it could have been started by somebody that you may have never known. So by us just being kind, just being sweet, just, just, ha forward. just having a good heart in general, we can start that chain for 
somebody else that we may never end up like meeting in person. That's and so true. I think if if we all took that to heart, then just imagine what it would look like or what it can look like. That's beautiful, Ellie. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess at this point we'll end the video. We um, thank you all for loving us. Thank you for accepting us despite our flaws. And we have lots of them. <laughs> and um, with that being said, we love you all. Hope you all have a great day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out. Your boy Ellie and his dad are out. <laughs> thank you, folks.